Yes, guys, welcome to the Isle of Search podcast. It's the man himself, Mr. Isle of House. We've got Brian Smith in the building. What's happening? What's going on? How are you doing, Giza? I'm good, man. I'm good. Yourself? Yeah, man. Another day. You know how it goes out here. 100%. Another long day, but finally, we're chopping it up. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, to be fair, I've been seeing your movement for a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I'll be honest. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, big up Poppy as well. She was like pushing it forward as well. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, I didn't even know Wave Ready was yours. That's like That's you. Thing, yeah. yeah so I didn't even. So I'm saying that when I started doing my research, I started realizing, oh right, it's cool. It's all making sense because obviously I see you on that lineup, obviously which is yours. Do you know what I mean? Um, I see you on quite a few things. Like I'm, to be fair, you see, like when I um, interview a DJ, I, I kind of go follow that like, every day. I start yeah. paying, paying. I start going back, 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 back. You know what I mean? So he's done a lot of big things as well. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, um, what's it? We are first of all and that. Got I doing we are like my better to be honest this year so far has probably been like my best best year so far okay okay for, DJ, like, for me it's it's been it's been like quite a slow like a slow burner with a uh, with with like the journey and like the progression and that into the DJ world it's quite hard isn't it like to yeah get, it's a hard thing to get into if you if you join the game having no connections like obviously yeah, come yeah. straight from the bottom no connections don't know anyone and it's like to try and get in with them. You want to get in with them, but then you don't want to look like you're begging yeah, you're big. at the same time. So it's like, you got to, you got to move correct in, in how you approach that. Like, yeah, yeah. That. I think it's the best way, Um, being unique, authentic, doing it of your own energy. Do you know what I mean? You know how it goes. Obviously, there's there's clicks, there's what, and that's what. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, I feel like you've done the right thing as well, doing your own movement, which is yeah, rave ready. I feel like, I think that it helps DJs a lot having their own event because you're putting them on. So, you know, I feel like they're more likely to put you on their event and that's how connections, you know how yeah. it goes. Yeah, you it, do it, me, it, I do, you, you know Show what your mean? own sound as well. Yeah, like, what yeah. What sound that you're trying to like really show you push, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? So, obviously my side, like I like the vocal, like I ain't gonna lie, like when it comes to DJing and that, like when I'm playing, I like to see the dance floor like going, like energy oh. and that. So it's like for me, that the, kind of music that brings that vibe is vocals like, I love my vocals and stuff like that um, I do play like minimal and beats sometimes but I'm mainly that like that sort of love juice sort of yeah yeah that yeah sound you know yeah. Like, with just the vocals and stuff like that so how long have you been doing Wave Ready for then so um, to be honest like it's been it's been on and off like I started it probably about three years ago now and right. I first I first like when I first started it I had high hopes and the first event I'd done I thought because you know what it was, like, in school and stuff like that, I was, like, popular and that. And I thought, like, you know what? Like, <laughs> Everyone will come. Everyone's yeah, going to yeah, pull yeah. up. And then, <clears throat> obviously, because I'm from, like, Barking and that, like, like the man them ran there don't really, like, fuck with the yeah, house. Yeah, the house. You know, so that's like, my they're like, oh, yeah, do, do some drill and that. And I'm like, oh, right, come on. Now. I come on. Like, do you know what I mean? They all like rap, R&B. Obviously, I like R&B and that. But I thought, yeah, I was, they'll still come just for me. And then, my first event was dead, like proper dead. Same, and then, same, same. And then yeah. obviously, like, it was a bit heartbreaking and that, but obviously I carried on. Done my second one. My second one was better. I had uh, got, like, George Mensah on. He had a good pool. We'd done Basin House in Shoreditch. Like, oh, yeah, so That used to be the well. little build-up spot. Yeah, like, yeah, 100%. Like, start. So we'd done that, and that was all right. And then, yeah, I'd done a few at Basin House, and then we went to E1. I got Ami Edge and Dance and that. And then... um Straight after that, my mistake that I've made is we went on to bigger things like E1 and then straight after, I went back to Basin and that kind of like took the hype out of it because it was like, all right, you've done yeah, it so now and now you're going back like, yeah. to where you started. So really, I should have like carried on elevating, but it was a, it was a mistake I learned. And since then, we've done, we've been doing Soul Spa and that, but I am trying to... I like Soul Spa as well. Yeah, Soul Spa think... is a vibe, man. Everyone goes to that spot when they want to hear house up there as well. So that's the yeah. main hub for that yeah, area. Man, that's it. Even not even Maystone, Chatham, all that bit, all that Ashford. Yeah. Everyone goes there. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So I feel like, I feel like still keep that movement there as well. Yeah, no, I, mean? I am. I'm trying to get like a good pull from there. So like my idea is to try and get a crowd from Maidstone to then bring them to London. Like when I do something, which is going, it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what like, you mean. Yeah, I've been doing back to back there. So obviously it is time. Like I've been. Like I've been getting a taste for it. Like it's time to come back to London and stuff like that, and to see how well yeah. that we could do and 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 stuff like that. But like, yeah, the, like I've been on and off of it because it's just like the events game is long. Like it's just 
so much graft, so much work, and then when it don't pay off, it's just like, oh, like it's, it kills it's, you. Yeah, isn't it? yeah, it's depressing, man. So yeah. I've been focusing more recently on like my DJ and, and my like production and stuff like that. That's what I've really turned Focus my eye on. to. But I am gonna try it. Like for me now, it's one of them ones where it's like I'm gonna give Ray Ready one more go, and if it don't pop off this time, then well, I'm just one gonna, more. Yeah, but yeah, I just think gonna, you're gonna be doing it, man. Yeah. I don't know, like, it's just because, it's just, when you see all these big events, like, obviously, I know they've been established and they've been doing their thing for, for years and stuff, and it's like, sometimes when you go ask, like, these people that have been running it for a long time, like, oh, yeah, like, you're asking for advice and that, like, they're not really trying to show, Same. they're not really trying to say nothing, but then when it's like, you're supporting their thing, they're like, yeah, yeah, like, they're all happy, all gassed. That's how like it that. goes, though. That's how it mean? goes, though. Like, you show love to them, but they don't show it back, where I think that, if I ever got in a position where like I was running like an event, a big event, like I was selling out all the time, and obviously like one of like some like a younger person came to me and I knew him or whatever, like even yeah, if yeah, I yeah, built yeah. a relationship with him, I would always give advice yeah. and like show love to them because like for someone who who looks up to you, that's a big thing. Yeah, massive, massive, massive. So it's like if if someone helped me and gave me advice, then it's a big thing. But like I've gone to a lot of people like up high in the tree and the only person <clears throat> who I can really say helped me he's big up as well to George Mensah is, is George like he has like obviously me and him come from the same area and that and he's like a busy guy obviously he's got his love yeah, he's thing. Got he's, got massive. he's got so much stuff going on but he's always taking the time to like, speak when to I man. ask questions to to like tune in to actually what I'm saying and try and say yeah you should do this you should, you should do, do that, that you yeah. know what I mean obviously he can't do too much because he's got his thing going on he at least takes his time to reply in that. Yeah, that's good though, because it's, it's, it's big as well, isn't it? Everything yeah, he does man. is massive. So for him to give you time, you know how it goes, especially if people's got a massive movement, man. You yeah, know, they just it. leave you on scene or whatever, or whatever, or whatever, yeah. whatever. So it is what it is. So what, let's, let's talk about the journey. What are you saying? First time you started DJing? <clears throat> you know what? I started with like, I used to bang this. I've, I've always liked music, but I used to bang this app on my phone I think it's like Eddie Jing or some something I never like heard that, of it. I never that heard. little DJ thing and it's like oh like the one you, on the phone yeah yeah you link it up to your SoundCloud and then you just play around okay it. okay and then one day I was at my old house where I used to live in um, Dagnum and my mate was like oh why don't you go to like a DJ school at this time I was like, like what what the hell like do you know what I mean like what's yeah, I didn't like, even know there was DJ schools and that. And then I, I like I tapped into it and then went there and then Oh, you went, yeah? Yeah, London Sound Academy. I went there for a bit. And then like they taught me a few things oh, and that, but then I sort of just learned off my own back. And then I was just like DJing at a pub. Like my uncle used to own a pub, so I would DJ there and then like the older crowd would be like, Oh, play, oh, oh boy. Play, play. <laughs> yeah, but they'll be like, Oh, play rock and roll and all that. <laughs> And obviously, I'm just like, no, nah, that's my dad. Like, yeah, my yeah, dad yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, they didn't really. I didn't get obviously the reaction off them. I wanted to, so it was like I never really got like anywhere where I wanted to until I was like 18. And then I started. I, like, I used to go to clubs and stuff and just stand behind the decks and just watch DJs. You just think, and, yeah, you and stuff to... like that. Like I used to bang out 195 in Epping. I used to go there and just stand behind. Yeah, the decks. 195. Fuck you know, shit. We know, we know. Yeah, you know. back in the day, that was the one. I used to yeah. love it there. And then I'll, I'll literally just stand there, just watch, watch, watch. And then every time I would ask for a set, they're like, nah, you're not ready, you're not ready, you're not ready. I've been told so many times, like, I'm not ready. And then when I look back now, at the time, I was thinking, like, fuck you, man, like, I'm ready, do you know what I mean? But when I look back now, I probably weren't, because, like, when you record mixes and stuff, like, I listened to one the other day, and I was like, right, I was dead. Oh, you listened to one of your terrible. old ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. I was terrible, so... But I just kept going home. Like I'll do like like mixes for people, and like if I would do like an hour mix, even if I got forty five minutes in, if one song just does a little clank or it's not in time, not start the whole thing, and I'll be in my room. Fuck, like, out. Pissed. clang, yeah, <laughs> just anything, and then yeah. I'll just do it again. And to be honest, that's what made me better. But it was the knockbacks and like people not giving me a chance, which made me better to where I am now. So it's like even now, like I listen to DJs that are like in a better position than me and sometimes I'll be at their sets and obviously I don't hate on people people do what they gotta do but, but I'll hear their mix and I'm thinking on. how are you Listen. DJing here and not me like how does this make sense I've heard some nonsense mate and there are some DJs that have been DJing for long and I think fucking hell yeah man like it is crazy like right now like obviously the scene is popping for for like women and that like 
the lady scene is popping right now. Mad, didn't it? They're, they're obviously, like, there is some girl DJs that I know that are real, like, I go there and I'm like, you know what, like, I yeah, can see why this, 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 she's getting picks, like, she's good, man. But then some girls, it's just like, I look at them and like, oh yeah, they're nice. They're like, banging, good looking, all that. And then when I hear them play, I'm just it's like, just nonsense. I know why you're playing. But do you, you think, do you up. think, is he like, um, do you think they're being good looking draws in the crowd though? Maybe so. Like, or I think the event thinks that it looks good for the, for brand, the brand. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I talk to people that go to like big events. Like when, like I talk to people that go to like these Siesta, Love Juice, Audio Whore and that. And then I'll, I'll say to them like, they're like my friends and that. Oh yeah, do you remember thing he said? And they're all like, Oh, Who shit, the fuck's that? They don't yeah, even know that... the headliners are. Like, I genuinely think nowadays people do not care who's playing. Yeah, yeah. I as think... long as there's bangers and the, the event has a name for 100%. itself, that's what I think it's get. more. I think it's more event as well, though. I yeah. feel like... Because I've been to some events. I don't know. No DJs, bro. Yeah. But the event goes off. That's it, innit? Do you know and what I people mean? People remember the event, not the DJs. Yeah, yeah so, so... I clocked that late. Yeah, yeah. Because the, 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 one of the first ones I've done, I started like getting bait ones and they didn't put in no one. Not yeah. even in the real way, no disrespect in it, but they didn't really put no off. What have I done wrong? Did I realise? No, it's not about, well, it's not about the DJs, it's about your brand, isn't it? If, no, that's it. So, if I speak to you, yo, what, we're going to rave? Yeah, yeah, rave for the year, yeah, it goes off. They're going to come. They don't, they're don't. they going to bypass the fucking, some events don't even post the fucking DJs. Yeah, it's crazy. You know what crazy. I mean? Crazy, yeah. So, I feel like when you get it like that as well, you're not posting the DJs and everyone's there. You, 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 this is why I said it. like to people like, there's DJs and then there's artists. There's a difference. Like, if you're a DJ, you know how to mix tracks. If you're an artist, you mix in your tracks, you know? Like, so when you're an artist, you can build a brand for yourself. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so okay. Like, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Okay, you, saying. You, you make your own music and then you can channel, like to, prog like, to progress more. Like, I know some bad boy DJs and I know DJs that are like, I mean, like, sorry, like, producers, artists that are so good at producing and making their own tracks, but they're not, their DJ ability is the best. Yeah, like, like MK, yeah, probably one of the best house producers that's ever lived. Like the tunes, sometimes I don't even remember, like, I'll listen to a tune and I'm thinking, who made that? And it's him and I don't even remember. And it's from like the 1990s. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then like, when I see him in Ibiza, he's mixing like terrible. Mm. Like, and he'll even use the sync button. Like the guy I cannot mix, but production. Got a smash, that, smash. Smash. So really and truly, you want to try and smash out one of them. If you can do both, you're laughing. But my like advice to people is get on the producing, make your name for yourself. That's like I used to DJ with with a guy from Essex. Like we was DJing at like this this dead bar in like Hornchurch and that like like a wine bar. Like and his name's um, Max Dean and we was DJing there together. And you know what, Max, he's been producing since day like for ages, and he was sitting on a track for a long time that it came out on um, George Schmedel's label, but he was sitting on it for a good three, four years. And obviously that track kind of blew him off. Yeah, like yeah. He was literally just sitting, waiting to, to like take, get take, that take. thing. So it's like, oh, me personally, I was like, bro, I'll give you credit because three, four years basically waiting to know that you're kind of going to do well, I'm but good. you're just sitting on it just to wait. Because obviously when he made this track, like he had to wait that, he made this before COVID. So he had to wait that whole time because the guys okay. like, this ain't the right time to release it. No one's out raving. We need to drop it when like COVID's when done. Everyone, and everyone's busy happy. again. Yeah. So he had to sit on it that whole time. And obviously now he's done his thing and he's DJing everywhere. But yeah, again, that's because he channeled like the, the production thing. Because I was DJing, like I've always, de like luckily I've always been DJing quite regular, quite often. I've always got quite a lot of sets going on. And he wouldn't have. He would play like he was a resident for like Buena Vida, and he would okay. play. He would play there like when they're playing. But as in being playing at this event, that event, he weren't really scattered about like that because he sat at home and basically just built up a His heap, portfolio. A heap of tracks. Yeah. And now he's just going bang, bang just it, banging it out everywhere. And now he's on top. He's nice. at age right now. He's killing. So it. what's your producing saying then? Yeah, like to be honest with you, I've got like a few. I've been more on the edits and that, but I'm trying to do my own production. Like I produce, like I ain't gonna lie, through my childhood, like from from where I've where I'm from, I've hanged around with like a different, like a lot of cultures and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've took music like a bit from yeah, everyone's culture. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Sick. For me, it shocks people, but I I love Afrobeat. Yeah, like I love it. And when when people obviously know I'm a house DJ, 
Like it shocks them. But yeah, she's like in your bio. Yeah, like I love. She's in your bio. You look Nigerian. Oh yeah, yeah. Kunu <laughs> Sar, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. So I made an edit of that. I love all Afro beats, and I was just thinking right now, like Afro beats and house, like they mix so well. Like so, yeah. I I do. I have been focusing on like Afro beat edits and stuff no, see, like that, see, and see, see, see. I like to please like both crowds. Yeah, why not? Like, why not? Why not? It's like if you if you like please both crowds, then obviously you get a wider audience, and obviously like I play for an event called All Sorts where. They'll play. They're mainly an R and B event. They're known to be an R and B event, and I, I'm the only house DJ that plays with them. But the reason they booked me is because R and B crowd, like, like my stuff, because obviously it kind it of it's up. house, but obviously it's Brilliant. gelled in with R and B and Afro beats as well. So that that is yeah, my that's style. It. Yeah, that's so it. That's it. it pleases both people, and um, yeah, man. Like, I just like to be able to see that I can please them. Be versatile. The other yeah. People. I mean, so. that's sick, bro. That's sick. That's sick. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you got a long way, anyway. You got yeah. a long way. I mean, like you said, this year you feel like this year is your year. Yeah, right now, yeah. Like last year, like um, me and Poppy, we um, we both made our debut in Marbella last year in May with Chalet. Only played for Chalet. That was it at Tibu, and then um, after that we went again in August. We went out there with Chalet, and then obviously Love Juice got in touch with me. So last year I done. Love Juice and Shadow. Yeah. So it went Wicked. one gig, then in August I had three, and now this year in May, I've got nine. Got nine? Two, nine, yeah. So it's like I'm doing Chalet, All Sorts, Playhouse, Boat Club, big, and big, Love Juice. Sick. So it's like it in a bu- year I was doing one set. So obviously I've gra- like I've grafted it and obviously like I'm mad gas like sick. to be out there. Like sick. I have people asking me right now, like, what hotel should I stay at? And that and I'm like, I don't know. Like because I know so, like this May, end of May, mobs this year, it's crazy. Like, it really okay, is. Your your summer starting from then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, really and truly. Like, right now, I, I swear, I know more people going than people that are going to be in the UK. Yeah, like, yeah. This year, I don't know why, but it's popping off. It's like pop, man. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. Well, that's good moves, bro. Yeah, man. It just shows, though. You just put your head down and grasp, bro. Yeah. You just work. You just got to keep working. Fortunately, you got to have to work. You have to outwork everyone, bro. Yeah, that's it, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Because you could easily just fall off. I've clocked one thing I realized in this little, not even little in this DJing world, a lot of people fall off. Yeah. 100%. Come and you could just go. I feel like even being around the right people, you being you as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But your style has to be different as well, bro. That's it. Like, I, I, I've like, when, like, my, when I was like, um, younger, like, I, I, one, uh, this guy called Colin Francis is quite a known DJ. Um, like he's like he plays at IB for Ocean Beach, Marbella, and stuff like that. And he used to be like the main guy for Boat Club back in the day. Yeah, Boat Club's big. Um, and then obviously, like as time's gone on, he he's obviously kind of stuck to the same sound. Like, and obviously I've I've got mad love for him, but because he's not so, kind of changed it, I can see that his thing. Is sort of slowing down to what he used to be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Before he was that the man, the man, that the man wanted, money. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. And like now, it's like times are changing, and I think it gets to that that stage where it's like time does change. Like right now, it's all about the young, the young people. Listen, and do you know what I mean. And obviously, as I understand, because as a older person who's like a goat, as you would say, of the game, you would look down and think. Like nah, these these lot don't know nothing. Like, yeah, yeah. Which is why I think like older, older, like the older generation don't really yeah. try and support. The, yeah, the they're just, I think people. they're all stuck in their ways. A yeah, lot of them yeah. are stuck in their ways. Obviously, because it's worked for them, I understand. Because that's yeah. like something what's worked for you, you might yeah. not want to change it. So I kind of understand. You know what I mean? But you got to get with times. That's it, man. You like, got to get with times, man. Yeah, like I, I I I got a message the other day. I was literally at work and um. Rennie Peters, who's a part of uh, Love Juice, she literally WhatsApped me and was like, um, like obviously I was I've been waiting because obviously me, Tilly and Poppy, we sort of all came from the same events. Like obviously, um I booked Tilly the first time and at that time I think she was just doing like an event for like pure and um, she was on like Flex of Feminine. Like. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I said, oh yeah, like, yeah, ju- jump on my thing. And then she jumped on and then I made her a resident. Obviously we gave her a lot of sets and stuff like that. So obviously she she's done well from that. And obviously now she's doing Love Juice, etc. And then obviously the same with Poppy. And then I'm thinking, all right, cool. Like we all come up with each other. Obviously Love Juice has said like, what's happening to them and got them on. And I was sitting there thinking, when is my right, time? Like, what's come. going on? Like, I've come Love Juice loads. I've supported, <laughs> supported you. Lot. You lot ain't trying to shout at me. 
what's going on? And then obviously, next thing you know, randomly, like when, trust me, when you least expect it, it That's comes. get the call and message. Literally, Rennie texted me and was like, oh, 18th of July, um, like, what are you doing? Like, are you free? And I'm thinking, I didn't yeah. even know she runs an event. What, yeah, why yeah, does she yeah. want me to play? And I was like, what event? And she was like, Love Juice 338. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I was at work and that. My boss like, get off your phone. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, Talking about yeah, it. yeah. And then, like, she said 338. And I was like, like finally, right. But it's just, it's, it's crazy. Because you would think if you go to an event and you support them, they're going to get you on. And it's like, I haven't really been there, like, mad like that mad recently. Like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. now they've shouted me. Instead of shouting me when I'm always there, shy and face, they've, they've, they've shouted me now. So... I was shocked then obviously now I'm gas like so that's another debut I've got um three three eight on uh eight I think it's the eighteenth or sixteenth yeah. like something like that. Yeah. So I was just mad shocked. Man. Them them events and raves they're to the masses. Yeah. Like masses like that's mad exposure for yourself. Yeah, one hundred percent man. So for a DJ is their dream to be at three three eight. No matter if it's fucking all day I starts at one, two, three, four, listen, that it, that's that exposure is massive. Yeah, I'm bro. gassed. Like for my name to even be on the flyer, I was just yeah. But like, you've been on big amazing. ones, the VRs and that, the dancing yeah. arrivals and that. You know what I mean? That that that's it's it's they're big ones though. That's yeah, exposure yeah. as well, no? Hundred percent. Yeah, like the festival. Like I don't know. Like do you know what the festival game has changed a bit. Like now, like obviously you've got like events kind of do their own festival. If you know what I mean? Yeah. You've got yeah. solid grooves doing something at like the Docklands or something like that, and it's like if you had We Are on or the Solid Grooves in London thing. Like, I think, especially people that I know, a lot of people are going to that Solid Grooves Yeah, of course, thing. I'm going Solid. Yeah, course, do you know what I mean? Like, I think, like, everyone's going to that, and it's it's just crazy. But it depends just, even, it depends what tent, though. Yeah, no, that's it. You, we all might have decent tents, Yeah, though. but I don't know what it is. Like, maybe because I'm getting old, and I don't know, but... Like back in it, I used to love We Are. But now I look at it, it just don't really yeah, appeal no. to me. I don't know why, but it just don't appeal to me as much. Like, festivals... As for DJ, yeah, but as in to go there as a raver, it don't yeah, really it's not the same feel to yeah, me. Like, yeah. It's quite weird. Like, I love house, I love playing house, everything, but I prefer, like, not on a stock up thing, but I prefer, like, my bougie events. Like, I like to dress up nice, jeans, yeah, all them, yeah, yeah, them yeah. things. Respect you know that. I mean? like, see, like, girls dress up in hills. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to go there to, like, church the thing, like, in a rave. You can't be doing yeah, that. You got, yeah. you know what I mean? You try to chat to a girl and she's like, shut yeah, up, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? They're not, they're not trying to listen. They're just trying to get like, yeah, yeah, get get mash up. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 bro. What memory the next day and that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They don't care about, like, they, they go to a rave, they ain't chatting to no yeah, guys. Yeah, so yeah, I like yeah. to go to an event, like, and mingle. have a drink and mingle, yeah, man, and just talk to people. And, like, so I kind of, I enjoy them events more as well because, like, I could go, like, I could, the thing with, like, raves and that is quite hard because it's like, very rarely you'll get like a rave where it's like you like all the DJs, so it's like you'll go there and you'll love the DJ that's on for an hour, and then when you're next, because obviously, as me, I actually look at the DJs yeah, so as a DJ, I'll tap into who's same, playing. Same, same, some people like the usual crowd wouldn't, they're just yeah, the, got their grooves. I'm going, I don't care, yeah, no, like that. I don't do that. So it's like I'll go there, I'll love BB, and then the next thing, some someone else is playing, they're just playing mad beats, and it's like. Uh, I've got to stand here for an hour now listening now, listen to music to like, yeah, yeah, yeah. where it's like if I go to events that I like and I know the DJs tra- and the yeah, crowd yeah. I know that like, I'm listening to music that I like all night sort of thing yeah, fact. so it's like yeah it's it's um them kind of events I do I do prefer going to I don't really go to that many raves to be honest yeah I yeah I kind of slow down as well I don't know man I think I don't know if I'm getting older and everyone's getting younger yeah, yeah, I don't really it. know you know what I mean but I feel like them young ones that we really don't know. Obviously, I don't know how old you are, but them younger lot don't know. Yeah. I don't think they know about house like yeah. that. Like how they. Yeah, I'm young. I'm like I'm only 23, but oh, okay, fucking hell, son. Yeah, yeah. You're young. But... You're young as well, bro. I know, I know. <laughs> but it's like I don't know. For me, I call 18 young. Isn't yeah, it? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm for me, I'm turning into adult now. Like I'm 24 in August. Yeah. So for me, it's like I don't know. I'm just going more towards the the class. I think it's because of what you've been through as well and yeah. all the events and whatever. I feel like you're you're different to it. So you. Yeah. Some ravers are just ravers, isn't it? Yeah, I can't explain it. it. They just don't. They don't listening. Listen, yeah. I could tell a clang a mile away. I could see when I go out now. It's deep. Yeah, that's deep. what. Yeah, it's deep. mad. Like I, deep. I'll listen to it. Like yeah, deep. when I go out, I can't help it. Like if I listen to it, I'm like, oh, like it actually, it's it's horrible. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it, 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 it does. Like then obviously everyone's like that at one stage, but it's like when when you're, you know, like 
I'm, I, I, like, I believe in my, my own source, as they Facts. say. Do you know what I mean? Like, Facts. for me, it's like, I've put the graft into this shit. And I know that when it comes to mixing and DJing and stuff like that, I know that I'm like, I'm You're good at on. that. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm on my job. So when I when I hear people doing all this dead mixing and planks and that, it's like they must be there doing. They're doing a better set. Like they got a better set than me, as in like they've been given the opportunity before yeah. me. So yeah. like, why is that? Like, and before I used to I used to tap into it mad. Like I at one point I was thinking, you know what? Like fuck DJ and I'll give up because. I couldn't be asked to keep getting upset and get pissed off with people doing better than me that don't really deserve it. Or they jump in, like they've been in the game for two months and they're getting yeah. sets at 338 yeah, and, yeah. and this it's, and that. It's political, and it, it, It's crazy. It's like. political. It man. is because it's like people people know that I work hard. People like me, Poppy Tilly, there's loads of people that work hard, but there's people that graft and they like they, they piss and sweat DJ. Like everything we do, is to progress in our career. And there's people that are just like, oh, it's there, it's a little hustle, like a side yeah, hustle. Yeah. But they're getting they're getting the sets right now. They're getting the big I think it's just, right now. Sometimes it's who you know as well, yeah. man. Sometimes yeah, it's just who yeah. you know, bro. I think a lot of, yeah, it's just who you know, man. Yeah, no. Maybe it's a, your mileage as well, maybe because you've been DJing for years. You know how it goes yeah. anyway, man. But you, you start somewhere. I don't, listen, if I was a DJ, see me, if I was a DJ, I don't care what time I play. Yeah, yeah. That's Obviously, it. I would. You know what I mean, though, innit? Especially yeah. my first year or two, I don't think I would care. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's like a gradual thingy. Yeah, you, you, you start. Like, yeah, 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 more time now. Like, when I, when I play, I like I can't really remember the last time I've done like a proper warm up set. But everyone's done them warm up sets. Yeah, like, obviously, of course. I know when I'm playing, when I'm doing free for eight for love juice and that. I know I'm probably on at the start, whatever. But I, to be honest, I don't care. Like, obviously, I'm there for me, and I'm gonna play my sound. If people come into the room when I'm playing. Sweet yeah, house, yeah. you know, but yeah, like for them big, big events, like whatever time, like I don't, I don't mind. So you've as been long on, as I'm on there. You've been on that, was it House of, you've been on the House of Passion? Is it House of, House of Passion? Yeah, yeah. So we done um, Asylum. It was yeah, Asylum, was Asylum, Asylum like, Egg. That was banging, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shenan big up to Shen as well. Yeah, man. He's proper, proper. Like you know what? I love Shenan because proper. He gives people the opportunities. Like he will tap into people that are good at doing their thing, and all that like social media and. Like how people look at that, he don't give a shit about it. Yeah, he don't that. give a shit. If, if you're a good DJ, he's like, I want you, you're playing. And he done that for me and big up to him. And even like Steven C as well, like audio horror and that. Like it's mad because me and him like don't chat on a on a regular basis, but he's given me a lot more sets than someone who I would chat to on a regular basis. Yeah. So it's nice to see that someone sort of taps in, yeah, of watches course, what you're course. doing. Like, I think everyone's well, you don't recognise, watching. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't even realise yourself that these people are watching well, you. Well, someone's always watching you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Don't sure. ever, ever, ever think otherwise. Oh, you might, like, it's, someone is always, always watching, yeah, man. Always, man. Always. I realise that late as well. Yeah. It's, especially when you see, like, certain people be posting stuff and stuff. You start thinking, like, oh, what, they? They? Who? Them? You yeah. think, oh, shit. That's what I mean. And it's music as well. Music stretches far, bro. Yeah. Stretches far. Young as well. You're nice. Yeah, man. No, I just... Nice, it's what bro. I want, man. Like, I, all this, like... All this job, like, all of the job I'm doing now, like, I can't... I don't even want to be doing it. We're done, bro. Yeah, yeah. I just want to be, like, DJing full-time, you know? Like, I just... That's all I want to do. That's it. Like, there's nothing more in this world that I want... Like, I even think, like, every young guy will say, but I actually think I'll pick being a big time DJ over being like a baller. Like obviously ballers get more peace. Yeah, ballers, yeah, yeah, yeah. ballers is basically like the key to life. Yeah, for a young yeah, man, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, everything course, a young course. man wants in life is is a baller basically. Of course, course. And for me, fuck that. I would rather, I'd rather rather be a big DJ. I don't even care about the, the, the money and stuff DJ, like that. Yeah, I just want to just do what I love and basically be able to do that for a living. Just for like, a living, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, literally, yeah. man. Like I work, like, work my ass off all week and. <laughs> like literally when Monday I'm like oh fucking I hate this shit and every day and then when it comes to Fridays like I'm happy because I finally get to do the stuff yeah, I, yeah, I, I love do. but uh, during the week I have to just deal with some shit to get the good times you know Fortunately, like, that's like, how I look at all these people doing it full time quitting their jobs and that and I'm thinking fuck man keep I working get bro. on this yeah keep working bro. just set yourself a plan three year plan four year plan and keep working yeah man. no that's it and networking is the key as well yeah, yeah. You have to network. That's why even bit of events you might have to just go in if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Go now go. I see some DJs just pulling up, just chatting to people. Yeah, literally, literally. So, uh, 
that is something I'm gonna add to my to my game ne- next. Like I'm gonna obviously start showing face. Yeah, literally. like not not obviously brown nosing, but just Make making myself a face. You know what I mean? Got That's what I'm gonna start doing. Yeah. And because, like, I'm one of these guys that like, I don't really like pulling up to place of my own. Yeah, yeah. I shout out the boys, and I'm like, what you man saying? They're like, oh, like, my, my friends, they all got kids. Like, it's mad. Like, obviously, they're all young dads and that. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah, who's coming? Marbella, Lads Holiday. They're like, yeah, I'll, oh, I don't know, you know, BMs and that. Oh, you know what I mean? They're not trying to have it. Yeah, it's smash it's already. Yeah, it's techie. Yeah. So yeah it's like, yeah. for me, I'm, I'm out here. I'm single. Like, I, I ain't tied yeah. down nothing. I'm out here trying to live my best life. Yeah, yeah, And obviously, yeah. when you're surrounded by people, like obviously, I've got love for them. I don't want to be going up to people yeah, saying, right. do you want to be my friend? Because you want to live your best life. <laughs> same, you know same, I mean? bro, same, same, same. So I've got my circle. They're my friends. And that's my, that's, that's. You, you have to try and twang them, man. The house, house is, you see when, you see when they're not naturally on this house thing, it's hard. Yeah, it is hard I try to, to try and bear them. That's why I do, but this is why obviously I do the Afrobeat thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All my lot, they love house, they love Afrobeat. Like, if I say to them, yeah, you're trying to pull up to like this house event I'm playing, they're like, oh, I'll let you know, like they move along. As soon as I say something like all sorts, where they know it's R&B and stuff. They're on, they're after, on. They're like, I'm there. But they sometimes, always show up. You know, it's all, sometimes growth is a lonely journey. Yeah, man. Sometimes... You, you you'll think oh you need one guy listen sometimes you got go you got go by yourself bro. yeah yeah no I'm that's telling it. you bro I realized myself since man's been doing this you and doing other things I will think wow man them man them I realize everyone's on their own journey bro yeah no that's it you know what I mean it's not and don't my advice don't look at them any bad or nothing like this is your journey yeah. no matter how you you want to look at it. So sometimes if you've got a book in, it's fine. You're by yourself, bro. Go by yourself. Yeah, no, it's Simple, true. Bro. Just be on the tunnel vision thing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Literally. I love for going. Like, I get invited to bare places. Half the time, I think, oh, my bedroom. Didn't I realise something? I'm going by myself. Let's go. Let's go there. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Left. I've completed what I want to complete. Yeah, so. no, for real. Like, I've been getting to that point recently anyway. I've been getting to the point where I'm thinking, you know what? Should I just start pulling up to places on my own? It's but now, like, then I'll be like, oh, I'm going to look like a dickhead. But now I just think, you know what? It's journey, it. bro. It's I'm pulling up journey. on my own, man. Like, whatever. Even, like, your other, your um, Poppy and them lot, you just say, oh, where you got, where you got going? Yeah. And obviously you don't want to look like a beggar or whatever, but listen, you're all doing your thing. You're all grafting. You're all... That's what I'm saying. We should all, all yeah, be supporting each other. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. We'll go, innit? That's why, like, I always, like, always get them on. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll juggle it about, but I always give people the opportunity because I like to give people something that I never got given. Like, I didn't really get given opportunities like that. Like, every time I'll go somewhere, like, because, like, I would bring my boys, like, to to events and stuff like that. And obviously, my, my boys are from, like, Barking. Yeah, yeah. And then when you go to, like, an event, you know yourself, like, in Epping or Brentwood, <laughs> all them man there, like, slick hair yeah, and all that. And all my, all my lot are pulling up, like, different hoodies yeah, and yeah. hats and, do you know what I mean? Like, and obviously, like, even, even like, the, the people that run the event or the crowd, Looking, oh, who do these man? Why you know, are these man coming here? You no, know, it's real. You have to um, got to mix it up as well, though. Yeah. See, so like, got to mix it up. You realize though, you got to mix it up. You sometimes you have friends for that. Sometimes yeah. you have friends for that. Yeah, sometimes. yeah, no, for real. And that's where a lot of people got it wrong as well. Sometimes yeah, you real. got to just know in it. Like, remember your brand as well. Yeah. No, so I know that, I know everyone's this and that, but they're gonna look at you and them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Not to be, not to judge anything or anyone, but you know anyway, in it, you yeah, know no, in it how like, it goes, that's bro. The thing, like, got to... if they do something mad, it's on me. It's on you, bro. You know so I mean? because they, I'm the guy that that they want that people. Yeah, know. you know what I mean. No, hundred percent. Like one up. time, I played for this event like years ago when I just first started. Uh, like I was quite new to DJing, and obviously, it was a bit of a ma- a mazza because I brought all my boys there, and it's quite like a posh area and stuff. And after the event, I didn't even know like till a couple of days after, like. Because of how my crowd looked, a few like people's coats and stuff like that got nicked and stuff okay. like that. And obviously, the event guys popped up to me and was like, "Yeah, good set, mate, but don't think we can uh, get you on again." I was like, "What? Why is that?" And he was like, "The kind of crowd you, you brought, brought, we we believe like stole the coats and that." And I, I went mad. I was like, are "You fucking mad? Like, you think my friends are gonna do that? Like, yeah. come to a sign that I've asked them to come?" And it's like. Because of my friends and where we're from, we got judged. Yeah, yeah. Just by that. And it weren't like it weren't nothing to do with us. But just because of how they dress Man, and how they are and that. It's it's it's, it's very it's touchy, like it's and a lot of people won't will think like, Oh yeah, you're just coming DJ but listen, you see promoters yeah, and like, they look at every yeah, everything thing you do, bro. bro. Everything. Everything is just, it's, so it's deeper than what you're mixing and like they look at what you pull in. What's what and what's that yeah. and what's that? Do you know what I mean? You know, in it because you do your own thing as well. Yeah, you know like I mean? even so back in the day, like obviously, 
like you know back in the old Towie days where like all the Mark Wright the Joker yeah, yeah, yeah. when when the people were banging out them like I weren't really still I weren't fucking with that like I've always been like I've been on more of like the more like the drip kind of yeah thing, yeah you know yeah what I mean? so obviously it's like like American rappers like yeah, yeah, say yeah. gangsters and stuff and I've always been on that close so when I would pull up there and then obviously you got people like that they. They just like I wouldn't even get looked at by promoters because they'll just look at me straight away and think, this "Oh, this guy's like want to be road yeah, man yeah, or something, something like that." Oh, like, they, they don't, they don't get to know. They'll just look at my clothes and be like, "Yeah, no." And start judging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally. You know how it goes, man. Everyone's journey is different anyway, regardless. Yeah. But look, look where you are now, bro. So That's it, man. It's, 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 it's some people don't give you chances because of whatever, whatever. But look at you, and yeah. they will be. They used to see my now. I think, wow, that's not the guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, blah, exactly. blah, blah. So you just got to keep working, bro. I think that's what you, that should even motivate you even more. Yeah, one hundred. Just thinking about them times. Oh, I remember that guy thingy. You know, don't fuck it. Watch, watch this. Watch, watch. I'm just gonna call it extra. Yeah, no, hundred you know I mean? percent. The haters, to be honest, the haters motivate me more than the lovers, than the fans. You know what I mean? Like when someone hates on me, <clears throat> makes me want to. Have do you that have you had that feeling with someone before? Like, have you kind yeah, of? Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, I <laughs> like it, it happens, isn't it? Quite, quite a lot. I've had. Okay, I've had People hate on me, like what? But do you not do? You, is it is it hating because of a of an action, or is it just a direct like you could just tell, or is it of actions? You know, sometimes you can be like, yeah, this yeah, guy no, of course. Hate. yeah, of course. Um, I don't know, like it's a it's 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 a bit of both. Like it's hard to explain, like with actions and that, but you can just tell by like the energy. Yeah, that, so, yeah. someone gives you and, and how they move. Do you know what I mean? Like when you pull up to an event, they don't really say hi to you, but then they'll see next man and be like, oh, yeah, well, do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? They're chatty. So it's like it is. It is hard, and it's like this is the thing where like it's frustrating, but you got to bite your tongue so much when you're in the public eye because you want to pull them up, like you want to page them about it and say like, "What's your problem?" But then, then again, like if the other guy who he's friends with is a guy that you play for, they're gonna be like, "Rah, Brian was moving mad the mad other day. Like we can't be having him come That's to what our they do, bro. So it's That's hard, what they man. Do. Like you can't be honest with people. You just got to sugarcoat what, things and just hop bite what your do. tongue. But listen, bro, keep. Pushing, but regardless, you got to keep yeah. pushing, bro. You got to keep pushing, you know. I think as well, how the house scene's going, a lot of like, um, I think everyone's more open to every. Basically, see, like, how I look at it, it's even for Corona. I think everything was just like in a small bubble. I feel like everyone weren't really opening their eyes to other DJs. Yeah. I feel like when you had a name and whatever, everyone just focused on you. You see, like, now, I don't know how you look at things like, I've got so much eyes on DJs. You see, don't you see a lot of DJs yeah. coming through? Yeah, yeah, thousands. So I feel like you're more open to it now, though. Yeah, like you can't. I can't bypass a DJ, even if they're shit. Like I still have a little peep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Before I would just bypass it. Oh, is that, is that? I'll just go straight to the names. You know what I mean? I would just yeah, bypass yeah. bare people. Now I'm like, well, who is that? Yeah, Click on no, their thing. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like, I feel like, I feel that's healthy. Yeah. I feel like it's good for the scene. Do you know what I mean? Like, Events like you say, there's a lot of DJs coming. There's a lot of events. Like I swear, I see a new event launching, doing a launch event like every week now. Like everyone's jumping on this event thing because they think like I'm popular. This is an easy way to make money. But then them events only do two or three, and then the and figure, out, yeah, and yeah. Then, and that's the thing, man. Like that's why people like Love Juice and that are staying strong because it's about maintaining what you've got. It's not about doing one good event. You've got to keep it keep going. going. Yeah, and, and their events are all it's clean. really man. hard. They're all clean events, yeah. all clean, all the right spots, <laughs> all the right times, <laughs> outdoors, all summer. Does someone think help? They, they, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's Fin hard, man. It is, it is hard to maintain. Like, as I said like earlier, like I done my thing at E1, popped off. Then I done one at Basin House, I was straight, like, pretty much straight after, and it was dead. And I just thought, yeah, I've had one good event. That's it. Now we're going clear. Boom. It's just, it's not, it's literally not. You just got to do something that pleases people or appeals to people. Pe every yeah, time. It's appealing and it's too. hard to realise what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it changes, things have changed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the game's changed completely, man. Yeah. I remember back in the day, like even me, like I used to be out there giving out paper flyers and that. Come to my event, like at Barking Train Station. Come, come for it, come for it. Now, no one, no one does flyers. It's all Instagram sponsored ads, Facebook ads. You think that's better? TikTok, TikTok is the madness. Yeah, I ain't even got TikTok. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you know what? Like, I ain't even really used it. I ain't tapped into it. But everyone says to me, like all my friends, that you need to get on that, man. Yeah, I mean, TikTok right now is popping off more than Insta. Like I've noticed, Insta's gone more dry since TikTok's gone off. Insta's gone. Because I think the algorithm in Insta is fucked. Yeah, yeah. That's it what is, it yeah. is. It's just fucked. Yeah. The algorithm, there's too much bots flowing around in the system, so it's just all fucked. Yeah, no, One minute I'll get mad views, and one minute it's just nothing. Like, it's just, it's all fucked. Yeah. 
random people keep coming up on my thingy. It's just fucked. You know yeah, what you I mean? don't even know who they are. It's, it's fucked. Some unknown accounts. It's yeah. fucked. And it never used to be like that, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to give TikTok a look in. Yeah, no, one hundred percent, man. Yeah. Something like this, TikTok will blow off. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, big man, he does that TikTok lives there, and yeah, yeah. as well. Do you know what I mean? So I need to tune into that. But um, so what's your plan? What's your cool? You must have like a five year plan or something. Have you got a plan? Five what? years. Um, to From. be honest, I'm more focused on myself. Like my my ideal is someone like MK, like Sunny for Dip, like Low Step. <laughs> and then I'm trying to obviously head towards in that direction of like music and like sort of as they are, like as a as a figure, you know, like I'm trying to get to that. So yeah, hopefully in five years, I'm doing it full time, DJing all around the world, obviously. You're starting already though. Yeah, so yeah, like it's, it's, it's coming. It's off, just mate. been a slow burner. And obviously when something like people obviously get in things quicker, when something's a slow burner, it's frustrating. You do think, so I just fuck it off. Like, is this ever really going to happen? And this, like, I was close to it at one point, like two years ago. But then now this year, it's like, wow, I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't. Like, yeah, no, like, you have to be patient. Yeah. And I think as well, as a person, you've got to be sweet. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Like that counts a lot as a person as well. Because people talk, innit? Oh, yeah, he's sweet. Oh, is he sweet, yeah? Yeah. Blood, I think that helps with bookings as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, just like that. For me, obviously, I've like... always had that. I've always been a calm guy. I'm very, like, easy to get along with. I can chat for days. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm always waffling and chewing people's ears off. So for me, it's like, I've always had that social side to me. Like, I can always talk to people and, and you know, but like, if someone shows me bad energy, I can't, like, some people can, like, bypass that and still be cool with it. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm nah. always, like, I don't know, just from young, like, if you show me bad energy, I'm not chatting to you. Sweet, yeah. I don't care who you are. Though. I don't care if you're a big DJ, you're a big promoter, I don't care. If you show me bad energy, fuck you, like. Yeah, 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 no, no, I respect it, bro. Yeah, you bro. get me? You're, everyone's on their own journey. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. I don't think, see a lot of bum lickers out here, yeah. people, but it's not that I get it, but, like, Nah, yeah, whatever yeah. floats your boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. However yeah. you're gonna get in, get in. <laughs> however you're gonna get in, bro. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean, literally, um, man? Yeah. So but for me, I've just never been that guy. Like, I can't it cringes me out. I just can't do it. Like, I just whatever, man. Like, if you shout me, then I'm jump and I'm playing for you. Then cool, I'm jumping. Yeah, on. I'm jumping. I'm, yeah, not, I'm not gonna it admit, like when I was young, I used to be like, oh, hopefully one day that like, I'll be sending mad DMs to big events and that, and from that, oh, hopefully one day get me on that. Like, I'll prove it that. Like, Aired and that didn't really tap into what I said, and obviously now some of them are tapping in. Yeah, now, tapping in. Before, yeah, like I would be DMing everyone. But that's what they do, though. Yeah. Even Betty DJ, I used to DM respectfully, boy. Yeah, scene, scene. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then now, oh, yo, bro, I'll be like, bro, oh, life's just it's mad. Yeah, it's mad. It's like mad. even now, like when people are like doing their thing, like it's, like we was talking about earlier, like when people are doing their thing, it's like some people let it change them, like. For yeah. me, I'll, I'll always stay stay humble. Like I don't care. Like because at the end of the day, everyone's been in a position where it's been shit. So it's like when it's good, don't be shit to the people that are having that time that you had once had. You know. Like, do you think? Do you think them changing is them being shit there, or do you think it's just unfortunately that's the part of the growth? I don't know. Like I, I, I think like the thing is like if you're if you're if you if you're friends with someone and like you're really in with someone and then you do your thing and blow off like. Why, like, why are you cutting ties with that person? Like, I understand it if it's like random as like who didn't yeah, show yeah, you love yeah, I get it, I get before. It. But at the end of the day, like, people I've been tight with people before, and it's like now I'm DMing them like, yo, what's happening? You're doing your thing, and then they'll just double tap heart it, and I'm like, brother, my dickhead, man. Like, <laughs> man used to book you when your thing weren't popping. Now your thing's popping. Mm, you're, just, you're, mo- you're moving like you're above me. Life, like, bro. relax, bro. Do you know what I mean? Don't even, don't even let that even yeah. kick in. It's life. It's fine. Yeah, it's man. fine, bro. Just go harder, bro. See, yeah, that's, that's it. What, that's what you do, bro. We just win. You know, fam. At the end of the day, you're not losing, bro. Yeah, that's it. And I feel like a lot of people think, oh, what? No, like, am I thinking? No, no, no. It's fine. And everyone's just at a different pace. It's a marathon, bro. You get me? Yeah, it's yeah. It's always a marathon, isn't it? It's not a sprint, so it's fine. You, you some people will come across to them in life again. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, that's it. <laughs> that's that mean, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro, because I bet you certain men ain't got them fucking nine bookings abroad. Yeah, regardless no, if like you know what I mean they might yeah. have it here but they ain't got it like, yeah. so you gotta look at it. Cool, pros and cons innit cool. yeah, yeah. yeah so it's life bro trust me man man's at peace bro like I'm just talking from that side of things like trust me bro man used to be a war of everything oh yeah just keep pushing bro yeah that's no it what you do like, people say like 
time is money. Like that is that Mark is a true shit, that, that is a true thing. But I still look at the fact it's like shine time to people that support your thing don't cost nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's free. Like, shine it's humbleness. Free. Like even a reply, like it's like it's free. Even like obviously, I even like for myself, like I, maybe I don't know because I'm not in the position. But all these people that are like blue ticks, mad followers, like all these people that even go on like Love Island, like you see how they go before they're on there and then they go then on there and there. then they got like a banging platform. It's like, for me, like I know you can't reply to everyone, but it's like, I'll do my best to, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, like I'll look at people like, if I speak to someone who's who's famous or their thing's popping, I'll look at their thing and be like, bro, like how can you ignore me? Like I don't have the heart to, to air someone. Like if someone says to me, you're smashing it. Like, no matter how well I'm doing, I, I just don't have it in me to just say, it's, yeah, thanks. I'll be honest, even, bro. I'll be honest. Fly. I'll be honest. Like, I easily forget. Yeah. Easily forget. I, I, I'm i definitely bad for it to extent. As you already know as well, sometimes yeah, yeah. I think I'll go quiet for like a week or something, but yeah, trust yeah, me, yeah. I don't even mean it. Yeah. Trust me. And I feel like half of the time, that's how they are. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to give them... Because I, I, obviously I do it to an extent. Yeah, yeah, of course. But bro, trust me, honestly, I just forget. Yeah, yeah. Like, bus are open, but, but my inbox is mad. Yeah. Your inbox must be mad as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Course. My things, this primary and fucking secondary and fucking whatever that is. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So, you hear me? So, bro, my thing, my thing pops, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, it's, it's, but bro, man, just keep pushing, man. I see it. I see it. Yeah, I see yeah. the vision, bro. I see it. I see it. That's it. No, I'm just hungry, it. innit? Just staying hungry. Always hungry. Like, to be honest, the more, like, even after this Marbella, I'm, I'm going to be even more hungry. Like, people think, bro, you've got there now. Like, you must be happy with that. I am, but it ain't enough. Like, to me, like, it's probably one of them ones where it's never enough. But right now, I know <clears throat> that I'm closer to the position I want to be, but I'm still nowhere near, near, like, nowhere near to the goal. I just feel like I'll go to the age thing again as well. I feel like you're nice. I feel like what you're doing for your age, yeah, you're on, like, you're on, po- like, you're not, you're on route. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The right path, following is big. As well, yeah. Um, everything's going, everything's going smooth, bro. Yeah, you get me. Obviously, you know how it goes. There's bumps, but bro, like I said, you're young, bro. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, that's it. No, one hundred percent. Probably <laughs> ain't even been see, the biggest bump, bro. Yet. Listen, I've been to some mad house raves, yeah, in Paraga, and that, yeah. See, like you, you think these raves, that, <laughs> bro. I've been to some mad, mad house raves. Yeah, like yeah. the floors are see through, and it's just another rave downstairs. You get me? Like, yeah, no, definitely. Deep, deep. So I'm telling you, bro. Them ones are big boys. But yeah. I'm telling you, when you Slovakia, you know them. Yeah, 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 yeah. bro. Them dark, get, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're fine, bro. You're on route. You're on route, bro. You're going overseas, and the things about you're going across. Imagine how much people from other things are going yeah, across that's it. there. No, one hundred percent. Please, bro. My bear is a very good place for that. Man. Big, very, very good big, place for that. Big, big. And I, I can't wait. Like I just think for me, my sound in music. Fits, fits that, yeah. Like a glove. That just like that's outside music, music the sons of music, yeah. the vocals. Just nah, give it to me, bro. Hundred percent. Give it to me, bro. Like, this DJ's going out there with me, that are doing their thing more here. But for that specific place, that time, like I have all the DJs I know, and I'm not coming on a on a stuck up thing. Like I think I've got the like the most the formula. to go. And yeah, I'm spread across a lot of places because of the sound that I have. Uh, yeah. It just fits my bear so well. Where it's like. They'll probably do better in like Ibiza or yeah, or yeah, yeah, like that, yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But for that Marbella sound, I got it. Like I'm the guy for that. Like, yeah, we'll spit, we'll spit it, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. Open source, bro. That's it, man. Know what I mean, so make sure the catalog's on when you go yeah, out there, bro. Yeah, man. Trust you know what I mean? Trust so, is there anything you want to say to the ravers before we you get me? Um, anything you want to say to the ravers, your fans? <clears throat> well, I've got a. I'm DJing at a big event this weekend in um, Sugar Heart. Uh, oh, right. old school venue that's what I'm saying that was, they've reopened now they're doing their thing yeah, I was thinking oh, they reopened it yeah they're, nah, they're, it's been open for a while but they've re they, oh they've like, done it we furbed it no, took it out over innit they no. run, they run it. yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah it's a part of free free Sick. I think it is now. Sick. do you know what I mean so yeah I'm playing at Pasha House this weekend Lot that's going off big time like I've been seeing the DMs it all over Instagram and then I've got my rave ready um 24th of June with Joshua. Joshua right now probably the most Joshua. Like, anticipated yeah, DJ yeah. there is probably in, in the world right yeah. now. One of the most. So I've got him there on the 24th of June at Soul Spa. And then, yeah. Yeah, and I'll come to that. Juice Soul Soul July, there. Yeah, come to Soul Soul there, bro. And then obviously, 
Marbella, man. End of then, this month. Then, if you come in Marbella, you already know what's happening. Then the sort. Ha ha! You saying happens in Marbella stays in Marbella, boy. Oh, that's it, one hundred percent, mate. Marbella's going down. I can't wait, man. Yes, yes, yes. Holiday, DJ, everything I want in Marbella. Is there, so what beef for? You fought beef? You know what? I played before in that beef for Boat Club um, at uh, Ocean Beach, but obviously, like, sick though. It's wicked, man. Wicked, bro. But do you know what? I have a picture on my Instagram, probably the best like DJ picture of me ever, man. Like it's me DJing, like cameras taken from behind onto the. I think that's all. I think that's the best ones. Yeah, yeah bro. Behind, well, I, I love them ones. And like it was Colin that got the photographer. He was like, "Yeah, before you go, I make sure you take a picture of Brian." And he actually did. And I rate that. I'll never forget that, man. My mum and dad were out there as well. Oh, sick, yeah. sick, 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 sick. It was crazy. It was crazy, man. Like. So I got that picture. That was that was wicked, man. Ocean Beach, yeah, one of my. Best hey, that's days. sick though. But yeah. obviously now, like obviously boat club, like they've got their people, they got their family sort of thing. Like how Chalet is, like Jordan who runs Chalet and Dan, like they're always like you see like Poppy and me, like, yeah. they always have loyalties to us. If we can't make it, they'll get other people. But priority is me and Poppy. Yeah, I've like, heard good things about Chalet. I've heard good things about that. Oh, Jordan they're doing their well. thing, man. Marbella, they're doing their thing. They're using the venue that no one uses. Yeah, they sold it out. So it's like. Shall they do something different? Like yeah, right yeah. now, they're, they're doing everything across the UK. Like they're doing like I done. I literally went drum with them the other week, like up Birmingham. And oh, that. sick! And then we got Manchester, uh, middle of June, and then the end of July we're doing Liverpool. So right now they're just doing UK trip. Totally, but yeah. for me, I love it, man, because I've not really played up north like that. So now I'm going up north with Chalet, Chalet my yeah. friends. You know what I mean? So we're all up there to to, to do something. Yeah, no, that brand, Shally, I've heard very good things. That Jordan guy as well. Yeah. I've heard good things about that Jordan. Yeah, brand. bro. Oh, yeah, he's man. my guy, man. Yeah, he's a friend. He's a promoter. Like, sick. He's my manager as well. He manages me and Poppy. He sick. does a good job, yeah, man. Big man. Up, man. He always makes sure that like, everything's correct. Yeah. Make sure we stay in our lane. Make sure that like, he keeps on top of everything. He even messages us saying, you should tap into this event. You know what I mean? Because obviously me and Poppy have a different sound. So he would say, Brian, you should tap into this. So I'm more like your sort of boat club, yeah. sort of, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like that sort of Essex, like, right. um, like classy house, where Poppy's obviously, she, she fucks with that, but she steers more she than means. like the rave thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. obviously he knows where to put us. Everyone, yeah, it's a place you know for I mean? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, yeah. Look, sick interview, bro. Yeah, man. Pates are coming down. No problem, bro. I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect it. Yeah, got a few things. Yeah, yeah, chest, it is, it is, like. yeah. I think, you know what it is, bro? <laughs> obviously, I don't know a lot in it, so yeah, yeah. Like, you just uh, yeah, bro. Like, like oh, good, learn, yeah, learn, learn, learn something new. Yeah, bro. And I respect it, bro. You know, like sometimes you never know how a person is until you speak to them, innit? Yeah, and I feel like sure. that's why it's good for people. Why wouldn't people want to not speak to a DJ or know how they are and how they talk, bro? There's some DJs I don't even I ain't heard them speak in my life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know, like, so I feel like, bro. I feel like this is only right. You know what I mean? And I feel like. People have to respect it. You're just being you and you're being real, bro. So yeah, yeah. I appreciate you for coming down. You no, get me, thank bro? Thank you very much. Bro. Hopefully, we chop it up again. 100%, yeah? bro. All right, bro. Blessings, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah.